I apologize. This will be quick. I forgot to explain exactly what this whole thing was about. You have this equation. Let's say you come up, you have a word problem. There's 500 elephants. They're growing at a rate of 12% per year. And the question is, and how long until there's 3,000 elephants? Now, there's many ways to do this. First of all, um, you could just put this in your graphing calculator. That's the newest way. Now, let's get a little old school. So you can start to solve it. You can say 1.12x equals 6. Now, method 1 would be to write this as a law. Method 1 would be use and solver to solve this. Method 2, write this as a law. Right? Go to your graphing calculator. Do control log, let's see, calculate, control log, and you'll see here that it actually gives you the log. It allows you to fill in the numbers. So like once again, you don't really need this. So you would put it in there, 1.12. You would put the six up there. Answer, 15.8. Method two. You've got this equation, 1.12 to the x equals 6. Older school says take the log of both sides. Take the log of both sides and then bring the x down. And then you solve for x. So this is how we, this is how we used to have to do it. Um, and then the answer is 15.8, but um, yeah, you don't have to do it this way. You might be given a question with like variables and they ask you to use the rules, but that's basically, so anyway, this was the point of the power rules. But as you can see, we don't really need it anymore. You can, once again, you can either stick the equation in end solver, you can actually rewrite it as a log and have the calculator do it for you. Anyway, that's basically it. Thank you.